This video is for clinicians or patients to know how to count their breathing rate either on yourself or somebody else that you might be looking after, for example, a child. To measure the breath rate of a person, you watch for the rise and fall of the chest itself. Often a really good way of doing this is simply placing a hand gently on the chest and watching it move as it goes up and down. In particular, doing this on another person as they're lying down, such as an adult or a child, can be really effective for feeling as well as seeing the movement of the hand, which tells you when the breath is being taken in and out. To measure the breath rate of somebody using this video, simply watch the counter in the bottom left hand corner as you're watching somebody's chest rise and fall as they breathe in and out. Alternately, match up the rhythm to the video entries that you see, and that should give you a rough idea of the breath rate. It's important to remember that this video is a guide and not meant as medical advice. If you have any concerns, please seek advice from your local healthcare team. In addition, at the end of the video, you'll see the normal ranges for an individual, both in terms of adults and children, for you to compare the results that you have with. If you have found this video useful, then please tap the like button because it lets me know that this is useful content for you and definitely share it with your friends and family so they can also know how to count the breath rate via themselves or somebody else to help in their healthcare. And let's get started in three, two, one. Now, it's important to record your readings. If you are unsure, feel free to use it again to count out the time that you need or match up to the video that most reflects the reading that you're checking for. And as a guide, check out this information right here that has the various ranges for individuals based on their age. It's important to remember it is different based on age. If you are getting measurements outside of the ranges for your age, then you may need to contact your local health care team based on your individual health situation and issues. You may also want to check out some of my other counters right here. Alternately, YouTube's probably recommend another one for you right here. And as always, we're here to tech enhance your primary care and learning. Catch you in the next episode.